Demon Slayer deck profile. Let's go. Before we get into this video, guys, 24 hours to go. The Draco Slayer, please, it's finally available. It's 24 hours to go. Thank you guys so much for the support yesterday. We sold so much Draco Slayer play mats. I appreciate you guys. I hope I have enough for you guys. It's only available for 24 more hours. Before we get into this video, make sure to smash the like button. If this video gets 1,000 likes, tomorrow we showcase Draco Slayer versus Meta. Draco Slayer versus Tier Limit. Draco Slayer versus Sprite. Let's see how good Draco Slayer ranks up against the actual best decks in the gameplay action. This is the updated Draco Slayer deck profile. I'm going to discuss everything in depth and everything you guys need to know, as well as side deck, which is why I didn't really add the side deck here. Everything you guys are going to need to know for this video uh, about Draco Slayer is going to be right here. So let's get straight into it. Before you do, I do want to give a massive shout out to Jibriel and Lundrity. Both of them created a Draco Slayer spreadsheet, which you can also get. It'll be in the description below. I gained zero dollars under the spreadsheet. It's all them. They created the spreadsheet. It'll showcase 43 different combos for Draco Slayers, as well as 40 different combos of Darkwing Blast. So make sure to go check that out to show them their support. And let's get straight into this. Also check out Jib's Twitch. That's my man's. All right. So the idea of this deck is very simple. The idea is that you want to maximize on your ways to all the Draco Slayers. The Draco Slayers is what makes this deck broken. So Majesty Pegasus is searchable by Babuku. So you actually have six ways to get into Majesty Pegasus. It's a very huge thing of this deck because it allows you to search any field spell you need. The field spells you want to search here are Sky Iris as well as Mystic Mind going second. So the idea of this deck is you want to have a, a good enough normal summons. So the normal summons are Babuku and Joker. So you have five normal summons in the deck and the normal summons give you insane value of searching Majesty Pegasus or searching Joker can search you Harmonizing Magician or Otis Revolution Dragon, which is absolutely vital. So if you guys saw the last combo tutorial, yeah, it's just a bunch of two card combos utilizing one of your ways into Pe Majesty Pegasus or one of your ways into Joker, what a normal summon, and then all the Draco Slayers, because the Draco Slayers basically search themselves. Ignis, the idea of Ignis is that you want Majesty Pegasus to be able to pop the Ignis, because Pegasus will search the Sky Iris to search the Ignis. Multiple ways to pop the Ignis, you can just pop it with Luster, you can pop it multiple ways, which will search you the Majesty Pegasus. Uh, Dynamite Power Load is very important as well. The three Bambuku, as we mentioned. Two, Perform Boss Cut by Joker. Three, Luster Pendulum. Luster Pendulum is insane in this deck because it allows you to pop your Pearl Poison or pop your Ignis. Three, Harmonizing Magician. Harmonizing Magician allows you to make the Ignister. And Ignister is a huge part of this deck. If you guys saw the commentorial, use Ignis, use Ignister multiple times to be able to special summon from the deck. As well as Otter's Revolution Dragon to special summon the Ignister from the graveyard to utilize its effect again. Because Ignister is not a hard one's return. Which is very, very, very important. The fact that Ignister is not a hard once per turn, you could loop it multiple times. Not only do you make Ignister once normally, but you summon it back off Otis Revolution Dragon, which is also not once per turn, multiple times, which is absolutely broken. So you end up using Ignister's effect like three or four times. It's not crazy to say that uh, by the time one turns over, you use Ignister's effect three or four times in a turn. Astrograph is very important as well because you're able to search it with Beyond the Pendulum when you don't need it. Uh, the reason why we don't play Monkey Board is because there's already a lot of normal summons in the deck. One Purple Poison is all you need. Uh, if you were to banish it off the Zyre, it's fine. It just one's really all you need. Two, maybe two could be good with Luster. And Master Pendulum is also good to search. Two Desires, this deck really thrives off plus ones. So that's why you play Desires and Talents. And Fenrir and Mag and Bistid. The reason I'll tell you why it's now why you play Fenrir and Bistid. So the deck has a bunch of normal summons. The deck is most powerful when it makes Beyond the Pendulum and then Pendulum Summons. So when you're able to Special Fenrir, get a plus one. Special Magnema, get a plus one on the opponent's turn. And then clear some cards with them. And then you, no you do your normal summon. And then you make Beyond the Pendulum. Because Beyond the Pendulum is not like Electromite. Where Beyond the Pendulum says you need one Pendulum. Two effect monsters including one Pendulum. So you use Joker or, or Babuku as well as the Fenrir or the Magnema. And then you just pendulum some of the rest. And Magnuma actually searches your dragons. Searches Revolution Dragon or searches Luster. Which is so broken when you're going second. Utilizing cards like Talents and Desires and Mystic Mind going second. Now makes it so your opponent is cooked. And when you're playing going second against the board. You could utilize your entire hand to stop their interruptions. And then the end play is to special summon Pegasus with Ignister. Search the Mystic Mind. Link your Ignister and Pegasus into any random link too like Masquerina. Crash. Drop Mystic Mind. Call it a call it a day. Sometimes that's what you're gonna need to do. Playing cards like Secret Village or Necro Valley, 
Poe's side deck is very vital because you can now search your secret village going first for your opponent not to be able to do anything. Or if you face tier limit, you search Necro Valley. And your opponent is definitely not doing anything against Necro Valley. Something else you can play as well as three Gilding Ariadne, three Solemn Judgment, and a Solemn Scolding. This makes it just side out desires if you do that and Mystic Mind. This makes it so you search counter traps going first. And you could see how easy it is to pop cards with Beyond the Pendulum, Luster, Sky Iris, everything searching Sky Iris, Ariane resolves every time going first. So that's another cool card to play going first. And going second, I would advise a lot of board breakers or even cards like Nibiru, Fenrir, or Magnemut because they ap apply cards in the field. Any card that gives you a monster on the field, which allows you to make Beyond the Pendulum quicker, makes it so going second is a lot easier. Now the Exa deck. One Dinosaur Power, two Ignister. Like I said, you use Ignister a lot. You loop it by special summoning from the graveyard with Otter's Revolution Dragon. That's so incredibly broken, I don't think, I don't think you guys understand. One Magister Paladin for the follow-up as well. It's important to put cards in the graveyard for Selene. One Hope Harbinger, one Dweller, one Baguska, one Axis Code. I'm going to show you guys the common tutorial later with Entest, the deck profile with Entest that I showed. I'll show you guys a few different deck profiles. One World Ocean Dragon, one Apoloza, one Selene, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Beyond the Pendulum, one Masquerade, and one Cross Sheep. And this is the deck list utilizing Artifact Scythe. So you guys saw the option there with Entez, but I would remove in the extra deck, I would add an Entez. I forgot to add the Entez there. So add the Elder Entity Entez, because that's how you pop with Artifact Scythe. It's very important. And I would still keep Mystic Mind in, because it makes going second have a bomb card that you could search. So this is the idea. When you utilize both of them, your opponent is cooked. Just pick whichever is best to your liking. If you want to uh, scythe them, or if you want to just go with the classic bunch and a gate combo. Those are the two deck lists we have going on here for the Draco Slayers. There's lots of other cool versions of Draco Slayers. So make sure to stay tuned for the next few days. The next few days, I'm going to showcase you guys Draco Slayer versus meta gameplay. We're going to show multiple replays against meta where we absolutely destroy meta decks and show why Draco Slayers is the best deck this format i love you guys thank you guys all for the support next few days all draco slayer videos let's go pen best deck baby let's go if you guys got this far make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the like button also make sure to check out the beautiful draco slayer play match down in the description below and check out the draco slayer spreadsheet for jib and lun they created it all proceeds go to them i make zero dollars out of that i do want to show them support because it definitely took a lot of time to make this so thank you guys very much i love you guys see you guys next video peace